Hi guys, this is uh, Matt from Optimus Futures. I wanted to show you in this video um, all the ways that you can actually execute on MT5, MetaTrader 5, and um, just to tell you that it's very intuitive and it's very easy for quick execution when you watch the market. There's a number of ways you can do it. There's a dome, there's a chart, there's an order console that you can execute through. So let me just walk you through the logic of everything and how I got there. Um, I changed this uh, to black. I'll show it in a different video how to do the settings. Um, I like black backgrounds, so I just changed the E-mini S&P uh, chart here. But you will see that there are two icons over here, and this is one of them, which will give you the trade console here. And this was the dome. Okay, so if you click this one, it will be the dome. That would be the easiest way um, to go about it. And uh, here I clicked uh, something that says show time and sales. You can click on something else, show tick chart, but here you see that. And so you have a way to execute through the dome. You have a way to execute through the chart. You also have a way uh, right here. Um, let me show you here to place a new order right through this, or you have a new order right through that. Okay, so let me start with the trade console. Again, I click the new order. I right click this to, uh, sorry, I'm going to show you. If I right click, this should disappear. There you go. Actually, I left clicked it. Yeah, double click on the left side and it should disappear. And I just like plain vanilla uh, because I have a chart here. I have the dome and I have this, so I don't need anything else. So um, here you have the contract that you're actually trading and all the contracts will be here. They will correspond to the contracts are here. So whatever is listed over here will be over uh, here. Okay, just gonna trade out. Uh, exchange execution, that's market. That's a market order. If you need uh, a limit order or um, a stop type order, it will be uh, a pending order. Okay, so um, here you have exchange execution. Again, market order here, the volume. The volume is actually the number of lots that you are uh, attaching to it. Here you have the stop loss and here you have the take profit. Okay, and if you leave both of those blank, there will be just a um, you know, there will be just an exposed position, a naked position. Um, let's just let's just put a maybe a stop loss. Uh, we see the price here, twenty three seventy two and a half and a quarter. Let's just go. Let's just go below that. Okay. Let's just go there, and we're going to buy it. We're going to buy the market, and as you see here, we have exchange to buy done. Okay we've done it okay and it shows right over here and we have the risk management stop loss right over here uh, at this point let's just uh, cancel this and right over here it's modifying and we're going to do exchange execution just to close out the position okay we've done it or we could have changed it and at this point you can print your ticket so you have a ticket confirmation with a number here so you can print it out for future reference or just press ok uh, to get out of this now i'm going to show you another thing here on tools and you go to options you also have one click trading which you can enable which means you will not get confirmations okay i personally do not recommend doing it unless Sometimes if you're a scalper, I understand, but for the majority of traders, if you're not into half a ticks or one tick and you're trading on points, I would say, um, you know, leave it on. Or if you're very experienced, okay? So you have that ability. Again, I went to tools, I went to options, and then if I wanna do one click trading without the confirmation, I just click over here, okay? And I get the disclaimer and then you accept it and you go from there. Um, another very intuitive way to place a trade here is through this button. Okay, so let's say you buy, it gives you the same thing. 
You can, um, this time we can put a pending order. Okay, let's put a pending order and let's, let's put a buy limit. And the market is trading right now 23.72 and a half on here. So if we wanna buy it, obviously we'll go lower. Now watch this, if I go above the market and buy limit, right over here, okay and that's a buy limit and the price is above the market if i place the order okay it's automatically executed so you have to be really careful in terms of uh, what you do um, basically you have to watch but it was executed because the limit was here it was done you press okay right over here okay and as you see here for previous trades you can actually see the trades that were done here as well okay and you can close the position right from this tab and we're gonna sell it okay now we're done so this is how we execute through the dome and um, everything else through here okay now here this is the dome and this is a very intuitive way to also execute your trades. Let me show you. You can hover over the price and it will tell you exactly what you want to do. So here you have a sell stop if you want to sell and if you want to buy it's a limit. So let's press a limit buy okay right over here and here you have the expiration of course if you just want it for today's session or you want a GTC and so forth I'm just gonna put for today and place this order and it's right over here and it's noticeable right over here by limit one okay it's very easy if you want to delete this order delete done okay so this is basically how we um, executed um, this is how you basically execute the orders from the charts and from the dome and from the trade console. One thing I want to show you here again, I'm going to show you a new order. Um, when you um, do right over here a pending order, um, again volume of one, if you click the control button and you look at the price, you will see that it moves in certain increments and now I'm going to click the shift button and you see that it moves in other increments now I'm going to press control and shift and you'll see that it moves in completely different increments okay so this just play around with it just so you see or just the best thing to do is just to put the price that you want over here and just go from there um, all the trades will show up if here ticket time type and everything else so this is uh, just a video about a basic order entry through uh, MetaTrader 5 thank you